Hello friends, today I'm going to demonstrate how to set up an open VPN on PFSense with dual WAN interfaces as failover VPN server. Uh, open VPN is really useful to access to your office in environment when you are out of, out of the office. Uh, in this tutorial, I am going to show you how to set up your own VPN connection using with uh, open vpn service on pfsense firewall uh, but the really special uh, thing is uh, what would happen if your uh, in internet connection link goes down uh, now here's the solution uh, to achieve this task uh, you may need to have uh, two wan interfaces uh, which attach to your pfsense firewall uh, you will have a uh, uninterrupted uh, VPN access after the completion of this multi WAN open VPN setup. So let's get started. Uh, first thing now head over to VPN tab and select open VPN from the drop down. Now open uh, wizard. Uh, select uh, local user access as the authentication backend type uh, and click next. and move on to um, create CA certificate section and create new CA certificate with descriptive name, country code, uh, state of province, city and organization. Then move into uh, next step by uh, adding new CA certificate. Uh, now we have to create a new server certificate as well, uh, same as we done earlier. Move to next step by creating a server certificate. Now we need to modify uh, general settings for the open VPN. As a first option, we need to uh, select an interface uh, which uh, wish to configure. For now, I am going to select uh, WAN interface 1. Uh, afterward, I am going to change it to localhost. So by now, I leave it as it is. Generally, you don't need to modify rest of the other fields. Uh, here, you can provide a name for the VPN server. But at this point, I'm going to change my encryption algorithm. Uh, now head over to tunnel settings as well. At this point, uh, I'm going to change encryption uh, algorithm.
now head over to the tunnel settings section here uh, you need to add tunnel network address uh, this is a virtual network address which provide an uh, IP address to client uh, it helps to provide communication between open VPN server and client uh, provide the address which the, which is not exist on the on your network here I am going to enter 192.168.100.0 you have to uh, you need to specify uh, CIDR uh, notation with uh, something like this then uh, add network address of your local area network uh, this is a network should be the network that you want to access uh, via open vpn so i need to access this network currently i am uh, residing on that network so i am enter here 172.25.10.0 N dot zero, it's my bad. With the CIDR notation. Now uh, uh, move down uh, a little bit and uh, enable interclient communication. Uh, the communication between other open VPN clients which uh, which enable after this enable you should be able to communicate with other connected VPN clients as well Uh, now uh, you need you may need to provide a domain name and DNS server for the client settings under client section client settings section here I'm going to provide my domain name primary DNS server at this point I'm using uh, my pfSense uh, DNS server itself as a primary DNS server and as a secondary server I'm using Google DNS now move down click next as the final step you need to configure firewall uh, to allow connection through the uh, tunnel network which enable traffic from clients to server uh, traffic from clients through the VPN so uh, you need to enable both of these uh, settings as well and click next okay uh, open VPN server configuration has been completed so far but we need to create two firewall uh, net, forward, net forwarding rules since we are going to use uh, two WAN interfaces so uh, now uh, head on to firewall tab select net from the drop down menu now create two port forwarding rules for WAN 1 interface and WAN 2 interface in here uh, forward open VPN connection to the local host which are uh, coming from WAN 1 and WAN 2 interfaces in here I'm going to add 
rule for WAN one interface select interface WAN one select protocol as UDP source should be source IP and source port should be any and destination address is a WAN one address destination port should be 1194 which is the default open VPN uh, server port move down in here you need to specify uh, local local host address because we are going to redirect incoming connection through the VPN into local host as same as above uh, we should specify uh, open VPN service port here as well write a description and click save apply the changes reload the filter same as earlier we need to create another port forwarding rule for WAN2 interface head over to net section port forward click add select interface as WAN2 protocol UDP WAN2 address open VPN port Redirect IP should be the same 172.0.1. Port should be the same. And name it. Click save. Reload the filter. Okay, by now uh, we have created the uh, two port forwarding rule for uh, local host to redirect the redirect into the local host okay now uh, we need to create uh, uh, we need to install uh, open vpn client export package uh, so uh, head over to systems menu package manager and available packages then search for the open vpn client export Click install, confirm. This package uh, will help you to uh, maintain uh, user uh, user profiles. Uh, you can uh, use uh, this uh, VPN profile uh, for the Windows users, Android, iOS and uh, raw configuration as well okay now uh, package installation complete uh, now need to create a VPN user
now move to uh, systems menu and user manager under the uh, users tab click on add to create the new user here I'm going to provide my details password in here keep in mind uh, you need to uh, create a user certificate as well so uh, enable this section after that this will pop up provide the descriptive name for the certificate user certificate click save okay uh, now we have to uh, modify the uh, open VPN uh, server settings uh, let's move on to uh, open VPN section servers and edit it from here here uh, you need to uh, move to general information section and uh, select localhost and click save as the final step we have to modify uh, open vpn client export settings move to client export section as it's seen here you have to change hostname resolution into automatic multiband IPs and move further down in the advanced section you have to add entries like this which means uh, these are the IPs of uh, my uh, WAN 1 and WAN 2 interfaces these are the public IP address which uh, OpenVPN uh, connection going to be used uh, at these entries uh, on the advanced configuration section and save as default now uh, OpenVPN configuration with dual WAN connection is completed uh, now it work as a failover connection to either connection uh, if one link goes down another interface uh, will come into action especially keep in mind if you uh, if one link goes down it will take uh, nearly 60 seconds to establish uh, connection with uh, another interface so uh, it's a special thing if uh, if it take longer uh, we have you have to wait until uh, 60 seconds and from here uh, OpenVPN clients available here for the uh, different platforms like Android, iOS and Windows at this time I am using uh, uh, Windows Vista and later package for uh, my laptop by clicking you can uh, simply download from here this, uh, this is the VPN profile you can use anywhere in your uh, different computer or somewhere else okay uh, now I think uh, you, uh, you you have idea about how to set up uh, failover multivan uh, open VPN server on PFSense uh, hope this helped for you uh, achieve this task uh, if it feels worth uh, don't forget to subscribe me on the my youtube channel thank you and see you on next tutorial